because you have grown big, uh, because more breasts have started coming out. Eh? It's a secretive and brutal form of mutilation. This is a reconstruction, but it shows just what it's like for girls to be subjected to what's known as breast ironing. Traditionally, it happens in remote villages in Africa, but now charities say the practice is becoming increasingly common in Britain. One lady who we've called Lara is still coming to terms with what she went through. They put the spatula on the fire and then you press on it and yeah, it hurts, but then it goes weak and then it, then it hurts and then it's like it's melting, like fat melting. Then you can see that the thing is going back. It's thought as many as a thousand girls have suffered this violent mutilation whilst living in Britain. But nearly a quarter of children's services have had no training to deal with the practice. And when asked, one in seven police forces were unaware it even existed. This demonstration shows how hard heated objects are used to pound and burn girls' breasts. These children have then had bands tightened around their chests to stop them developing. Some say the practice can cause cysts, abscesses, even breast cancer. Normally they do it because um, they're scared that boys will come after you and that uh, uh, you wouldn't be able to, to study well or yeah, you're going to be attractive to men. It's in remote villages in the Cameroon that mutilation often happens in secret when a girl reaches adolescence. But there are now warnings that the practice is on the rise in Britain. Here, not one person has ever been convicted of the crime. A lot of women that have come forward to us is, uh, you see, emotionally and psychologically, their self-esteem has been really badly affected. And uh, when you look at them physically, you see that some of them have got one large and one flattened breast completely. In recent years, adverts like this have helped raise awareness about female genital mutilation. But campaigners insist focus too must now be on breast ironing before it becomes a more widespread problem. Rebecca Williams, Sky News.